This is my absolute favorite golf drill that you can do in the gym. Let's check it out. For those of you that are new to my channel and don't know who I am, my name is Cody Westcott. I'm a strength and conditioning coach and golf fitness expert. I've been a trainer for over a decade and I've coached thousands of people around the world to play better golf. Now, let's get into the video. All right, here we are in my home gym on the cable machine. I prefer using cables for this exercise if you have it available. You can use bands too. Just, I like to progressively overload this one and you can do it with the cables better than you can with the bands. With bands, you know, the resistance gets tighter at the end and there's variables. Like if you stand farther away today from the band, it's harder than it was the day before without really realizing it. So if you have cables, I prefer those. The weight selection right now is on 20 on this cable machine. They're all different, but the weight is not gonna be very heavy to get you started. Grab the handle, bring it here to your chest. So what I like to do is put the handle, my thumb, right here in the middle of my sternum. Then I'm going to get into an athletic stance. So one foot forward, one foot back, you know, pretty much evenly distribute your weight, maybe favoring a bit here on the front leg. Now what I want you to do is Think about driving your hips and rotating them, similar to how you would be doing in your swing. Okay, so you see my drawstrings here, let's pretend that's my belt buckle. What I wanna do is drive my hips, rotate, start extending, and get my hips, my belt buckle, turning down the line, okay? Then once I'm here, I'm going to take this handle and press with my right arm, and I'm going to do somewhat of a reverse fly with my left arm, it'll look like this. So what you're gonna feel, big internal rotation stretch of your hip, right? Getting deep in there, that extension of the hip, and then we're going to rotate, and I wanna feel that thoracic spine rotation, also with a bit of extension, right? So I don't wanna be rounded forward, pressing the weights, Want to be back, so that way I'd be loading here on this leg, getting the hip forward into extension, squeezing the glutes, core stays tight, and that would look like a relatively decent finish to your golf swing. Something I'm really working on right now to get into this lead side, turn my hip, turn the chest without being forward of my hip, because I tend to get back here like so and I wanna be stacked, loaded, rotate, extension, and that would be somewhere after impact. You would do this on both sides, okay? So that was my dominant side, my lead side, my actual swing, right? And then my back swing would be this way. So if I was gonna flip around here on the camera, I would just switch everything up, and I would do that going the other way. That would also help in your back swing. So that's why I really like that drill. It's a drill slash something that would be an accessory exercise. So I put that at the end of some workouts. If you wanna add something like this into your program you already have, you could probably do it once or twice a week. And again, I like the cable because I can progressively overload it. Let's say I'm doing two sets for eight this week and I have it on 20 pounds. Next week I could try it again. I could maybe do the same weight for 10 reps or I could try the same weight uh, or excuse me, try more weight for the same amount of reps. So just any way I can progressively overload it, I really like to do that, and that's what I think is great about the cables. But I've talked about, you can do it with a band. I think a little trick if you're gonna use a band is mark something on the floor. So if I was at my home gym, you know, I just had bands, I would find a little spot, maybe put a piece of tape on the floor for where I was doing that, and then that would be this week. Maybe next week I just move a little bit away, and that resistance would go up. You're gonna feel the resistance in the hip. It's not just going to be in the arms. And what I want people, what I want you to think about too, is that we're moving our rotary centers and not just focusing on my hands, okay? So my first thought is hips, extension, and rotation. So I wanna see that drawstring, that's why I kind of drew your attention there to begin with, was to get my hip moving, right? So you see it come forward and you see it rotate. And then now you notice that when I keep this on my sternum here, my chest rotates and then I finish. Okay, so I led the way with the bigger body parts and then just finished it off with the hands. And I think that's something that a lot of people need more of because we kind of get really choppy with things. 
right? Your chicken wing, whatever it is. Learn to move your body and not just your arms, okay? So if you are looking to add more golf specific exercises onto your program, make sure you give me a follow. And in the future, I will have a full program that is gonna be just to add exercises like this onto the workout you're currently doing. So thanks for watching, have a great day.